and didn't go to school until I was seven. So I felt like I was sort of fully formed by that stage. I knew who I was. And school was a massive shock because suddenly rules, restrictions, things to learn, <laughs> stuff, you know? And by that stage, I really, really had a real clash thinking, I don't understand what's this for. I don't want to know this. Everything I do and everything I work on really is to do with that. It's that clash with what's going on inside, a real sense of purpose and drive and connection and response to the world, and then trying to articulate and respond to something that doesn't seem to be make sense a lot of the time. And it's ongoing, it's an ongoing dialogue between inside and outside. I always felt, yeah, that, that I was making things. I never thought it's art, because I wasn't thinking art. You know, I was just thinking alive and making and responding to things. There, there really wasn't that focus or that thought of this is art, which has actually helped me, because even now I feel I don't have an idea of myself as an artist, as a painter, as somebody has a message. As I'm just responding, living, doing what I love doing, which is yeah, amazing. I mean, I can't draw, so it's very strange for me to understand how you can translate um, seeing uh, often sort of different types of forms, particularly bodies, into these sort of amazing, splashy now, very sort of fluid drawings. But it was just years and years of repeatedly doing different drawings of sort of, you know, dancing figures, um, which took the form of black and white drawings or even a staircase, which he would sort of sculpt, um, you know, out of wood. And I think it was just years and years of this, and, and as I'm sure he's mentioned, he started doing the two hands thing. So you'd sort of, you know, you'd be playing football or whatever, and you'd turn up, and you'd just see him for a reason that I didn't understand at the time, I'm not sure I totally got it now. But just practicing, not looking, just endlessly doing little circles like this, or kind of squiggly forms that had to match. And then trying to get us to do it, but I think we were more interested in just getting out to play football again. But I think that's what formed, you know, that's, that's what shaped the sort of basis of the art that you see now, which is very different to what it was back then. The technique that, that I've developed, the, the one you use both hands, you know, both sides of your body are functioning, both sides of your brain are functioning. And if you do something that's really difficult, so you're painting two different things at once with both hands, you're essentially concentrating on four different things. There's no guidelines. You can't think, you can't work it out. You can't be in the idea. You have to respond. You have to be with what you are. So it's a balance of, you know, being, you know, observational, but also just, just passion and feeling. <laughs>